chapter two of The Picture of Dorian Gray, Henry and Basil enter the studio, and Henry and Dorian briefly talk about Aunt Agatha, their shared connection. Henry concurs with Basil. Dorian is intensely beautiful. He stays to watch Basil work on the portrait. Dorian asks Henry if he's a bad influence. Henry answers at length, explaining all influence is bad. The purpose of human life is for individuals to express their own thoughts and passions. His philosophical ideal is a life that's completely self-centered, yet so beautiful it gives joy to everyone else. Dorian interjects and asks Henry to stop talking. He thinks about what he's just heard for 10 minutes without speaking. Basil paints without noticing Dorian's introspection. When he speaks again, Dorian calls for a break. He goes into the garden, and Henry follows him, praising Dorian for smelling the flowers, telling him that the senses can cure the soul. Henry also urges Dorian to move into the shade so he doesn't ruin his beauty, and launches into a speech about the meaning of beauty itself. They return to the studio. Basil finishes the portrait, and Henry admires it. Dorian, however, is struck by how sad it is that his portrait will stay young and beautiful while he himself ages. He wishes things were the other way around, that he would remain young and his portrait would age. If only that could be the case, he would sell his soul for it. As cultured as Henry is, when he first meets Dorian, his response to Dorian's beauty is as naive as everyone else's. He thinks there is something in his face that made one trust him at once. That's both a testament to the power of beauty, Dorian's beauty specifically, and a sign of how it leads everyone in the novel to misjudge others. It's also Oscar Wilde's commentary on the widespread social tendency to trust beautiful people more than unattractive people. Henry makes Dorian aware of his own beauty for the first time and raises the thought that by aging, Dorian will lose his beauty. Grasping the fleeting nature of sensory pleasures and one's own life is a tremendous insight, one that can change people. The realization changes Dorian forever, and not for the better. This meeting also establishes an ongoing and totally unhealthy relationship between Henry and Dorian. Dorian may be beautiful, but Henry is witty and insightful. Though he denounces all forms of persuasion, this chapter establishes Henry's effect on Dorian in very clear terms. Henry's explanation seems to be that beauty, youth, and innocence have a power over the world that is almost metaphysical in its intensity. This influence will extend into the very depths of Dorian's soul.